a USB rechargeable mini torch or mini flashlight and these things look quite neat. They're basically a back that bayonet caps off and you can just plug it into any sort of generic USB charger or, or uh, power bank and it charges it. And um, if you take the, well I was going to say if you take the front off instead, you can't really, well you can take the front off using enough force, but you just twist it to actually turn it on and off and these are really handy, they're a nice pocket sized um, flashlight. And if you live in a dark area like I do, um, it's quite handy for getting out to the car and things like that. So um, I bought this one from one of my usual suppliers, Del Hanway, and one of the things that was the most appealing about it was that it said red charging indicator and changes green after charge. And I thought, well, that's nice because um, none of the other ones do that. And I should have twigged that it doesn't actually look even remotely like this one. And it's notable that when you plug it into charge, it doesn't actually, it, a, a few things happen. You plug it in and the little indicator in the power bank just barely glows. There's definitely some current flowing, but there's no red or green indicator show, to show if it's charged or not. Um, also, the current was so low that I wondered, is this even recharging at all? And I had to rig up a little USB socket to the power supply and put a digital meter in line to find that it was drawing about 2.25 milliamps when it's charging. So um, I wonder what charging circuitry it's got. I wonder if there's any protection. So let's um, open it, shall we? Now, the front comes off these. I've had similar ones before with various random levels of uh, charging excellent. Oops, that come, comes off quite neatly. And these all contain quite a nice little arrangement. They've got a circuit board, and if you look in, you can see the circuit board and the little lithium cell tucked at the back there. And there's a little um, slide on off switch um, and a wide angle LED, which is quite good. Um, and there's a little, on this, it's got little latches that snap into the position to hold it in. And it's got these two guide uh, rails here that basically over the switch and as you turn it, it physically clicks the switch. So it's not just some shitty sliding contact, it is actually quite a good electrical connection it makes. But, let's uh, see if we can get the back off. This is usually the destructive bit, because it's usually glued in, and I can actually see glue here. So I'm going to have to squeeze this and give it some, give it some tender love and violence. So, I think, and if I like it enough, if it's good enough, I shall uh, buy another. Oh, that seems to have broken the, the glue seal to a degree. Let's see if I can bayonet cap it or this on and just... Oh, there we go. That was uh, unusually painless. And now this completely slides out and it's the little bare module. So I can put the vice away. Everything is held together with sticky tape. So let's get that off. A little bit of masking tape here. The lithium cell just has a couple of wires going on. Does it have a protection circuit board? I can test that actually. It might take a bit longer to test it. Let's see. Does it have protection? I don't think it has protection. No, those wires are soldered straight onto the lugs that come out, so there's no protection on there. Um. And the circuitry on board consists, the charging circuitry appears to consist of a resistor and a diode. Well, so no protection at all then for that little lithium cell. Maybe they're just working the basis that it's so small that it's not going to go bang. Let's uh, see what, uh, let's see what those values are. Super tiny resistors. The resistor value for the charging resistor is 151. It's 150 ohms. What's the one? What's the resistor in series with the LED then? Where is the resistor in series with the LED? Oh, it's the tiny little one over there. Okay. Hunt the resistor. Oh, 
Oh, I can find, I can find everything but the resistor. It's 100. It's a 10 ohm resistor. Okay, so that's uh, bumping quite a bit of current through the LED. Righty ho. So let's uh, doodle this down, shall we? Not that it's really rocket science. And we'll try and do the maths as well and see exactly what sort of uh, stuff's going on. So the USB connector. USB plus, oh I should put that on the other side, and minus. The minus is going straight to the battery, the lithium cell. Uh -huh. Positive of the lithium cell, we'll actually do it this way, we've got the diode, I think it's a yeah, I wonder why. Yeah, I suppose, it, of course, it's to stop reverse, uh, re stop it discharging. So we've got 150, 150 ohms. And then the output from that, positive goes from there to the switch. Um, then through the 10 ohm resistor to the LED. It's not rocket science. Righty ho. So, assuming that the cell is charged up to its maximum is going to be about 4.2 volts, you're dropping, say, about 0 0.5 volts across that diode. 0.6 perhaps will we be generous and say 0 0.6 so that gives 4.8 so if the cell is near its full charge and you have got an actual 5 volt supply then that would only leave um, 5 volts minus the 4.2 of the cell minus the 0.6 of the diode equals just 0.2 volts to drop. So um, the current through that resistor would be I equals V, 0.2, divided by 150 ohms, equals, so it'll drop to about, at full charge, it'll drop to about 1.3 milliamps. But that does assume you've actually got a 5 volt supply um, in the first place. If your voltage was higher from the USB source, um, that could be significantly higher current. So this does potentially run the risk of overcharging this cell. I guess they're just relying on the fact that if you plug it in for X length of time, you're not going to leave it plugged in all the time. But, um, yeah, 2 milliamps. I, I'm not sure what the capacity of this is. Does it say? 50 milliamp hour. Oh, yeah, yeah that is 50 milliamp hour, I think. So... 50 milliamps hour, 24 hours at two. Oh blimey! So that if you leave leave it on charge for a day, that's it. Almost guaranteed to be running into overcharging zone. Um, I notice a lot of these also said things like uh, 300 milliamp hour cell, but that's really not the case. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe I'll uh, buy an alternative type and uh, check that out. But in the meantime, I think this one should actually go back together again. But really, not ideal. That's a bit sort of dubious that they're just um, doing things like that with a lithium cell. Very odd that they just... Uh, oh, what's the current through the LED going to be then? Uh, let's assume that the <coughs> battery is at full charge. So it's 4.2 volts. 4.2 minus the voltage of the LED. It gives 1.2 divided by 10 ohms equals... It's running at about 120 milliamps which is quite ferocious for that little LED. It's because it's a standard um, straw hat 20 milliamp LED. Yes, altogether, yeah, not perhaps a terribly ideal design, I have to say.